Happy Thanksgiving. Um, Thanksgiving is based on uh, new settlers to a new land surviving. Yeah. And uh, I was talking to Carl in the week. We were talking about new settlers and everything, and I was thinking, imagine if you uh, had to um, start a new settlement now, okay? There was something wrong with the world, okay? The world was kaput, mm -hmm. okay? And we found another planet. So, Carl, if you had to go to a new planet, don't worry about starting life again. They've got sort of like these breeder clones that adore that. But you can choose six people from this world to take to start this whole new world, okay? So you need, you know, as I say, you don't need to So worry what's about, happening here? Is this, is this... It's going to be wiped out, okay? It's going to be wiped out. But there's enough on this spaceship for you and five other people. Okay, and they've got them there. They've got these. They've got these sort of breeder clones there. So it's going to be populated. You're going to have the workers, the drones, everything like that. But you want to take six, I suppose, sort of um, uh, world lords to teach, to lay down the politics, the 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 teachings, the laws, the government. I don't okay. Miss, I don't hate it. Um, and how long have I got to make a decision on it? Uh, to the end of this podcast, right? Go. Who do you take? Who's the first person you take, and why? Uh, and where where are we going? We, Mars. Ugh. Okay, so a, a planet where there's a, a, a an atmosphere. I've got to know where I'm going because I've got uh, to sell it to the people who I'm asking. There's no point when okay, I go. Are you it's, coming it's, with me? Where are you going? I don't know. It's just like this world. There's there's oxygen. There's seas. There's rivers. There's forests. There's animals. Okay, but we're going to populate it with uh, the human race, and you can choose six people to lord over this new uh, kingdom. You want the best people for the job. Yeah. So. Who's the first person? Probably, um... Patrick Moore. Why? <laughs> why Why would you take Patrick Moore? Just because he, he knows knows his way about up there, doesn't he? He'll know the way. So, just, just have him. I think that will... Whoever I pick next, if they see that he's going, they'll go, right, you know, it's going to be a long Moore's journey as board. it is. You don't want someone who's going to be going, is it left here? Is it right? Or, or, do you know what I mean? And he could play the xylophone on the journey. But, but, is a, Carl, right. is more the most useful person to have if you've only got six? Because he may be very useful getting to the planet, no, but, but once you've got No, but I've always wanted to meet him as well. I've always wanted a chat, and that'd be a good chance, wouldn't it, when I'm in a rocket? How long's it taking to get to Mars? I don't know, a, a year. That's what I mean, No, it's so. not Mars, it's somewhere else, okay, so it's a year to get there, and then... Yeah, well, that's what I mean, so it's a good chance to have a chat with him, uh, okay. about stuff. Um, so much and more. I think he'd be up for it as well, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I think, I think, you know... Well, why do you, why do you think that? Just because he's spent his whole life talking about what's going on up there, isn't it? And yet he's never been, and I feel sorry for him. You know, most people, when, they, when they're when they into something, they get to go to a place, don't they? Sure. Uh, people uh, who don't know who Patrick Moore is, he's um, an 80-year-old uh, <laughs> astronomer. Yeah, that's what I mean, so let him have, a, have a bit of a good life. So Moore's on board? Yeah, Patrick Moore, he's, he's on. Right, out five others. Four others now. Uh, Jamie Oliver? <laughs> why? Why would you take Jamie Oliver? <laughs> just food and that. You just what you need someone because they say that like you, uh, you know, you can feel down if you don't eat. Um, he couldn't convince eight-year-olds to eat a carrot. What's he going to do in this brave new world? They're all going to be on turkey Twizzlers. I think he's he's got the right attitude. He wouldn't be faffing about. Remember, we've we've landed now on this new world. Yeah, I don't know what it's like. The people who Listen, made I love go. Jamie Oliver. I think he's great, yeah. but he wouldn't be in my five people to start a new world. That's all I'm saying. Nor would Patrick Moore because <laughs> he knew the way. <laughs> well, what chef would you pick? I wouldn't <laughs> pick a chef. Why would I pick a chef? Because you want someone who's going to, like I say, food's important. When you're low, there's nothing better. If you are a bit fed up, there's nothing better than having a good. But Carl, I don't think you've quite grasped that these people have to start civilization again. They have to yeah. be wise, wise people who can make the laws. Yeah. And Keep before you do all that, you need a good meal. So, th Jamie Oliver, he'll be, that's his job. It's like, when we get there, that's when he kicks in. Right. right He's okay. the first one, really, Can I suggest that's going. Uh, just to save two places on Patrick Moore and Jamie Oliver, take a map and a cookbook. <laughs> okay, who's number three? What sort of state is this world in? Does it need- Oh, this is, he's gonna take a fucking gardener. It's, yeah. it's like the, it's- uh, It's the world, but new. It's the, it's that, exactly, it's the world but new, untouched by humans. There's, there's been no fossil fuels burnt, no machinery, 
no wars, just this Garden of Eden. And you, Patrick Moore and Jamie <laughs> Oliver, pitch up. Plus, who else can't go now? First thought. Attenborough. Again, he's a genius, and he's a, you know he's a, he's a bit of a hero of mine. But I don't know if we need Attenborough. Just because I reckon if it's a new world, you're saying it's the same, but they always say, don't they, that all worlds are different. So I'd want him there, just to sort of when we're roaming around, because we'll all stick together for a bit, won't we? Mm. Uh, yeah. When we're roaming around, then they'll be sick of the sight of you. Uh, they go, let's lose Carl. But you've got two men so far who've got a combined age of about 150 <laughs> I mean if you're starting a brave new world they dare I say not going to be around very long shouldn't you be taking some younger fresher blood no not really because they haven't lived have they these have lived and they'll they, they can so and they're useful like I say Patrick Moore's done his bit he's got us there uh Oliver has cooked us a dinner day two I reckon we'd end that on day one there we'd have a dinner We'd all have a chat. I don't think you're thinking of the future. I it's think a you're camping trip. I think you're thinking of the journey and then the first night. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. So, so you've got David two. Attenborough, yeah. you've got Patrick Morton, you've got Jamie, <laughs> you've got two other places. I get the feeling that you're not so much recruiting people for a new world as I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. <laughs> Uh, as a dinner party with <laughs> yeah. people you'd like to meet that you've seen on the telly. <laughs> oh. Uh, Come on, in two more. I'd text someone who's a bit daft. Just so. No, you don't need to, Carl. That's covered, believe us. Yeah, no, believe no, that's what I mean, though. I don't want them having to go at me going, why are you here? I'd put point the attention somewhere else <laughs> to text someone else who'd sort of wind them up. So who's I'm, that then? Paul Denham or someone like that. <laughs> it really is. I'm a celebrity. <laughs> so you've got you've got Patrick Moore, you've got David Attenborough, you've got Jamie Oliver and Paul Denham. <laughs> and starting, brave new world. starting life again. <laughs> okay then, brilliant. Oh god. Right, one more. This is amazing. This is a, it's going to be. I'd love to go back and visit this in a thousand years. What teachings they laid down. Oh God! Don't know. It have to be uh, a woman. I think you got to have a woman in that little group, haven't you? Is could have another another woman chef or? He's mainly eating. He's got God. that covered with Oliver, but no, I no, he's got it. to take Nigella in case he's in a <laughs> cream cake kind of mood. God. Oh God! Delia Smith was furious. She packed her bags <laughs> and everything. Or a nurse. Now you're thinking. Abby Titmus. <laughs> Carl, I know you like to be kept abreast of all the latest breaking science news. Did you read recently about the blind mice that they have been able to make see again? And um, hopefully, they're, they're, whatever they did, which allowed these mice to be able to see again, they're hoping to be able to do with humans in maybe about 10 years' time, or at least begin tests in 10 years' time, which is pretty impressive, isn't it? How many, uh, how many um, are these uh, mice today experiment on? <laughs> Three, probably. Right. They were, mm, it wasn't taking place in a farmhouse, was it, at all? I didn't read the intricacies of the Did they story. have tails? Did they still have their tails? The three-blind mice? Because, yeah. They're, I don't know. Again, well, uh, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not sure. Well, okay. what's your concern? Well, right? I think I know what happened there. <laughs> really? Yeah. I think the farmer's wife probably uh, got annoyed right. at them running well, after why? her. Right. Uh... But how could they run after her? Because they're blind. I don't know. I think they used a sense of smell and hearing. They could hear her uh, uh, clogs. <laughs> and they followed the sound of the big fat clogs. <laughs> right. But, uh, you know, they got their comeuppance. <laughs> they lost their tails. So now they're blind with no tails. Is uh, that I, not the story? I, don't, I think you've confused um, okay. another more recent story Okay. with, with that one. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll leave that then. I don't know. Carl, but thoughts, though? The extraordinary, isn't it, to be able to... I mean, to be able to cure blindness would be it, a remarkable it, achievement in science. It is, but it's just that thing how they say they've done it on mice and what have you. Yeah. If I was blind and I went in for the meeting with mm. the doctor, yeah. and they said, do you want yours doing? And then they said, like, mm. I've done it on mice, that wouldn't be good enough for me. I'd say, look, when the blind fella gets in, don't say we've done it on mice, just say we've done this on eyes. <laughs> <laughs> if he goes, what eyes? Just say, just a pair of eyes. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you say mouse's eyes, it's like, well, it's, it's not the same. And no. it sort of, 
it would make me go, I'll leave it. Yeah. And then you, you, you wake up and you can see, but you've got very tiny eyes right in the... Right there. You've put in my eyes! <laughs> I'm scared of cats! It's just eyes. I think I just don't like having my eyes messed with, and even if it was blind, I just... I wouldn't like it. Right. 